Hello friends, this is Cold Run. Welcome back to a blind playthrough of Elden Ring, where we're going to be continuing today from Noxtella from the Waterfall Basin. So last time we explored the upper part of Noxtella, a lot of ant riders and uh, those silver tier mimic things. Uh, we talked with the, the Ronnie doll again, and some thoughts before we get in, and again, I'll timestamp it so that you can, if you want to skip to the gameplay, you'll be able to see where the actual new stuff starts. Um, I, I've noticed that the Nox cler clergy people, uh, their gear, their headpieces often hide their eyes, which is an interesting contrast, specifically with the three fingers um, and the frenzy of the three fingers whose eyes burning and becoming yellow are like the focal point of their faith. Uh, or I don't know if it's faith is the right word, but the focal point of them being part of the three fingers and frenzied and all. Uh, oh, about the... So there was that conversation with with Ronnie the doll, Ronnie the witch doll, down here just at the end of the last time. And she mentioned a couple things. She mentioned that even when she turned her back on the two fingers, Blythe remained loyal. And she calls this a colossal failure on the part of the two fingers, which is a great point, actually. Why didn't Blythe's sleeper cell programming activate? Because I, I get the sense that Blythe knew for a while before we met him what that Ronnie was going kind of on this dark path and going against the two fingers. And so why didn't his programming activate? Was it just his faith in her, his love for her and support for her overrode that? And if it did, then why does, why did E.G. feel the need when he did to imprison him, to imprison Blythe? I don't know. There is also, she also said that Blythe and E.G. both understand what lieth beyond the dark path, that I must betray everything and rid the world of what became, what came before. And so it... Kind of a, a very loose theory I have from this is that one of her goals with this whole dark path thing is that is about the crucible, is about resetting the crucible. Because I think the crucible is some like primordial soup deal, some like evolutionary starter kit. And she doesn't like something about the something about what the greater will has done with it doesn't not more than doesn't sit right with her. It, it, it She abhors it. She can't stand it. And so I think she wants to reset the path that the greater will has taken everything down. But I don't know for sure. Of course, none of this I know for sure, but that I'm even less certain about. I don't know what they actually did to piss her off so much. Um, also, there was a something that came up a while ago that I never really I, I've been wondering about in contest con in connection with this is the Newman's rune. The Newman are said to have come from outside the lands between are in fact of the same stock as Queen Marika herself. So I wonder, like, are the demigods part Newman? Also, does this have to do, is this like a reference to the Lord of the Rings with like the Numenorians? I don't know. Maybe. Um, and so one more thing was about, from my friend's uh, playthrough, which I'll link below, uh, which is... I saw her, she just got to Kaelin in our playthrough, and uh, her videos are, are that are out are ahead of that, but, or, are, you know, she has a while before that video will come out, but, like, in that video, she got to the Commander O'Neill fight in Kaelin, and was assisted by someone, Pollyanna adopted daughter, and I don't know if I just have zero memory of it, or I didn't see it, or what, but, yeah, so he was, she was assisted by someone called Pollyanna. Must have been one of the adopted daughter, daughters of Gowry that he talked about. Um, and it was especially interesting that he used the same ability that the kin that she used the same ability that the Kindred of Rot did. That that sort of like spindly thread magic attack. And so it makes me wonder if the Kindred of Rot were like Mill Millicent's and Millennia's like uh, adopted siblings, whichever Millicent ends up being. Um, there's something going on there. Um, maybe they were like the pre-transformation version of them. I mean, I don't, I, and I don't exactly know what they were. These adopted daughters were like, if I asked them back when they had all their memories and were able to talk to me, I don't know what they would say their role was or their relationship was. Are they acolytes? Are they actual siblings? I, I don't know. That is cool as hell. Look at that. This is the, um, 
one of the things I want to try was the ancestral infant thing. Uh, and I figure if I'm trying that, why not get some horns? Uh, but splashes out that stuff. Can I hold it? Can I keep spewing it? No, it's not chargeable. I'm going to try that. I'm not going to use it much, but, you know, look at us. Look at how awesome we are. Uh, so, yeah, on we go. Anything here, or is this just death? It sure feels like death, but i got to check a waterfall just in case. And look at me. I'm, like, lit up. Nothing on that by the waterfall, but I do see this ghost glove wart. A ghost glove wart? Nah, I'm glad I checked here. I'm usually glad I check places in this game. Very rare that there's absolutely nothing in, like, a significant chunk of area. Alright, on we go. Okay, we're gonna get ant time. Awesome. Awesome, I'm looking forward to it. No, we're going to get worse than ant time. It's basilisk time. Let's swap out the cerulean dagger for... Actually, no, cerulean dagger, nothing. We well, Let's swap out the magic one for Prince of Death's Pustule. I really don't want to get instant womp. Let's also do... Actually, Ancestral Spirit's Horn is actually probably okay here, because if we're going to be trying out this thing, we're probably going to be using a lot of stuff. I don't know. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Yep. Move, move, move. So it's like a dot. It's... Not terrible. Nope. Okay. Not so bad. This is not, like, great damage or anything. So, again, this is just testing it out. The, uh, infant's head, I mean. Funny, I would have... Oh, hello. I would have expected... Just like in real life, when I use an infant's head as a weapon, it usually does pretty good damage. But in, in this game, I guess they're not super realistic. Ah, oh, the flies. Is this where we're going to be? That place we saw from above earlier? No. No, we're not going to be... Oh, God, no. Please don't give me Poison Swamp 2.0. Baleful Shadow. This is our first time seeing you. How are you doing, oh, friend? Shadow. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the witch cometh. Drend thy no! flesh with a fateful wound. Ne'er to heal. Is this Blythe? No, buddy. Oh, gosh. Can I? No, I'm going to see if I can run past him. Do I have to kill him? Is clearly not his fault. And why did it wait until now? I thought we were in the clear. He knew what was going on. I don't want to do this. Ah, but I told Ronnie I would help her against these. I can't go back on that. Okay. That feels bad. This feels pretty terrible. Ah, oh, dude, I'm sorry. What is that red black flame? Is that that's not the God Slayer stuff? I wonder what that is. I've seen it before, but I'm bad at remembering the color coding it in this game.
get ah, oh, and he's just full on wolf mode now. That's no, oh, whoops, wrong thing. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I see the timing on that now. I just, I don't like this. I mean, not like story-wise. I mean, I don't like it. I don't mean it's bad. I just mean I, if, I feel sad because Blythe is such a bro. Yeah, he was going to kill me. That's rough. All right, we'll fight you, but... Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ugh. Okay. You know what? Let's treat this a bit more seriously. Let's not fight him with the deer antlers. This is... Or with the ancestor horns. I'm... Let's go... As we... Let's go a more noble look. Here's a question. Did I miss Dee's brother? Wasn't Dee's brother supposed to be in Nokron? Maybe I'll come back there eventually, but did I did I just miss I'm armoring up for uh for the rematch here. Did I just miss Dee's brother? He was supposed to be somewhere there, I thought. In the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nokron. Is that somewhere I was, or is that somewhere I like I guess it's fair to say, because if it's not somewhere I was, apparently, it'll, I guess it'll somewhere I'll come back to later. Is it something I missed, or am I still okay on this? Because it, it feels like I should have seen it, but I just didn't see... I don't think I was... I don't know, was that the aqueduct? I, I don't think so. Or Frost Stomp is pretty solid. I am a fan of that. All right. Let's see if uh, how the Blood Blade works here. Ah, I thought I got the timing on that. One, two. Yeah, ah, this is... Poor guy. One, two. Beautifully fought. No. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. Now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. Was that not Blythe? I thought that was Blythe. Unless all of the... Unless all the Baleful Shadows just look like Blythe. I thought that was Blythe. I have to go back and see that, because did did she say that that was the last of them? Like, she killed the rest of the Baleful Shadows? And where did she go? Is my Ronnie doll still here? A tool? Oh, she's a key item. The chilliness is gone, feeling now like an empty husk. There's no response. Oh, and it's even kind of gray. It doesn't have that same bluish hue she usually does. That... Where did she go? I guess she's on her dark Empyrean path.
If this goes down, I'm going to be sad. We're going into the poison swamp, aren't we? Damn it. <laughs> the lake of rot, of course it's called. Can I at least... I can't even horse up here. Oh my gosh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> no. Oh, no. What did it say? Lake of Rot what? Shoreside. Of course. Map, Lake of Rot. Lovely. How big is this place? It's friggin' huge. That's how big it is. Do I, re I really have to do this, don't I? Okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to put on... model necklace and immunizing horn charm ready to give ourselves as much just to make sure no i can't do it okay okay i'm not going to use this for a little while um What is this I have to touch? Are we going to get, like, a putrid ancestor beast? Oh! The game has at least a little bit of mercy, at least. That's good. Probably not much mercy, but, you know, it's better than I was expecting. Rot grease. Yeah. I think I'm going to try to aim to do a few. Scared the crap out of me. No, let's get... We need more range. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Poor Frost Stomp is going to be a friend, I think, here. Eonian Butterfly, yeah. I'm going to be play it safe early on and then see if I can have a few, like, my life doesn't matter type runs to explore the outskirts. See, uh, is that an ancestral follower out there or a mushroom person? I think it's an ancestral follower. All right, here we go. I know that there's going to be stuff jumping out of the water to get to me. But again, this is this is more than I was expecting. I was, I was expecting to just have to be toxic. Okay, so there's that at least. We're going to do some island hopping. A great lake of standing water downstream of the Ansel River. It is said that the divine essence of an outer god is sealed away in this land. Is this where we're going to fight the the rot that the blue flowing thing uh, sealed away? It's got to be. Got to be. Can we make it? Yeah, we just have to believe. And we'll go with the immunizing cured white meat also. That was a mistake. Mistakes were made and I was the one who made them. Shit. Oh, okay. That was not worth it. Keep getting him. Okay. 
That was not worth spending over. Oh, God. Whoops. Uh. Yeah, keep stomping. Stomp him out. Hmm. Of course they're going to get me on these small platforms. Okay. This we can make, I think. Is there another step stool here? No, but I can summon help here, which is concerning. Oh, there. I wonder... Oh, no, shit! I forgot to wait. I forgot to wait. I forgot to wait. Mm. I'm going to keep using these as much as I can. All right. Well, punished. We're building an upward path or pillars I can kind of jump on the bottom of, but not reliably. There is a physical path there. Sure. So we saw this from above from up there, I think. Oh, and there's stuff to go over there. Yeah, there's a whole list of stuff here to check out. Too bad it all involves going through rot. Nope, mistakes. Okay. All right, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. We're just going to be rotted. That's how it goes. That's what life is like in here. It's just you, you get rotted and you deal with it and you move on. Maybe we'll uncover a gray site, but probably not. And if we don't, that's okay. I don't have that many runes. I have 16,000 runes. That's not that many right now. <clears throat> There's like a little mausoleum off to the side there. Preserving boluses, sure. Let's take that opportunity. So there's a whole lot of stuff. I'm just really looking for a... Um, I'm looking for if a gray site, if there is one. That's a thing. Also, I don't know if if I die, when I die, I don't know if these will open up to me. Like if the, uh, sorry, if the, I don't know if the platforms will remain up. I think they will. Judging by how the game is traditionally acted. Can we use another of those, uh... Immunized and cured white meat? Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do, but we're doing it, I guess. Yeah, and by doing it, I mean getting rotted. I? Okay. I shouldn't have used up all of these, because why? But you know what? We've... Oh, a ladder. I'm trying to get less precious about about boluses and items, consumables in general. I hear a... a th God damn it. Okay. I want it, but how badly do I want it? Pretty badly. Yeah, we're just going to get rotted. That's how it's going to go. That was not worth it. It might have been worth it. No, it wasn't worth it. Uh, okay. Butterfly Central. Things are whiter here. Probably not a great thing. I don't know what it means, though. And we're about to die. And that's... I, I'm just accepting I'm going to die. I'm trying to explore as much as I can before I die. Little house there.
What's this? Uh, let me up. Nope, let me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Somber 8. Okay. You know what? Let's die in style. Can we die in the gas? No, we just... No, we died of Scarlet Rot. Oh, we got, we did get Death Blighted in the end, so that's good. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's going to be life here, I think. So we died over there. Alright, next... I'm not even going to worry about the runes. Not even going to worry about them. Let's check over there next. We're not going to ball us up. I'm not going to waste more balluses. Can I make more balluses at least so I have them when I need them? Uh, I got 19 sacramental buds. That's way more than I thought I would have had. Make 10 of these. But I will try to not use them unless I really am close to something awesome. Are you kidding me? That's what I got rotted for just now. Let's reset this. Utter trolls. Ionian butterfly my ass. Alright, so our goal this round is to get there. Yeah, let's see if we let's see if we can get there. The thing over there. I'm expecting something terrible like another Ionian butterfly, but. I was wrong. I was very wrong. That was pretty good. Just keep on chugging. More basilisks. What's this? Somber 7. I'm not against using another Ballas, but especially given that I have more than I thought, but I'm not going to worry. I'm, I'm going to lean towards not doing that. Or maybe the 16,000 runes is worth it. Sure, we'll use another Ballas. I lied. I'm not going to make it, am I? I barely make it. Okay. So we're going to chill here for a bit. And can I get to that obelisk? Let's try for that obelisk. And we're off. See you in another five minutes while this ticks down. Do I have anything better for immunity? I'm trying to give myself as much immunity as possible, and this is what I ended up with. Oh, good lord. That is ridiculous. did that just come up? I didn't see exactly. I was looking for elsewhere. Maybe that that's what just came up. Kind of nice. Yeah, it gives me some more room to play with. Hell no. Hell no. I see you now. I see you now, Dragonkin soldier. Okay. I had missed you before. I did not. Okay. Alright. Is there anything behind us that we can distract ourselves with? I don't think so. This is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. I can't target you, but you're not fooling, like, even a single person. And I have only one flask left. Okay. Uh, is there any hope of actually getting my stuff back? Let me see. I might come back here. I'm going to... Let me... I might come back here. No, I'm not going to get my stuff back. Because I'm going to... If I get it, I'm just going to barely get it and die. It's... I, I don't care enough. I don't care enough. I think that's what the conclusion I'm coming to. And I was trying a... A new... Uh, I want to try Dolores the Sleeping Arrow. I don't know if it's going to work. I kind of doubt it. But I want to try her. Because she sounds pretty awesome. This is my first time... Nice to meet you, Dolores. You look badass. 
Uh, let's get this treasure. No, I didn't mean to roll. Ah, uh, dagnabbit. Uh. Oh, right, the pullback. Okay. All right. Let's try that again. Snake of America. Interesting. I like it. I may not stick with her for long, but I at least want to give her the old college try. Yeah, way less room to play with than I'm used to against this particular enemy. The tennis probably would, would better serve me. At least until I build up uh, Dolores, because I do want to put some points into Dolores. Ah, right, I got rotten. Uh, you're tough to actually physically hit, aren't you? Are you going to bring the ice lightning the way your friends usually do? Yeah, you're... Sleeping arrow is not the way to go for this fight. Are you going to... I can... I'm, like, not hitting you at all. Oh. Oh, I thought I got the second dodge in. Uh, shoot. Yeah, bad time to heal. Really forcing me to get up in your grill, aren't you? Okay. I am, yeah, dagger is... Probably good for the skill, but not for actually hitting you. Oh, no, the second one. Ah, almost, almost. Okay, so I think I'm going to try that once more, but going harder onto just the skill. Because every time I used Reduvia Bloodblade, there's very few times when I got up under the crotch. Because he has that big, gaping hole in the stomach that makes it so I'm just swiping it air. So I'm going to try to use the ability more and be more mindful of timings. And Dolores, I don't think I can make use of your sleepiness. Let's try the Radon Soldier Ashes for now. Maybe? I'm going to try these, but if this doesn't work out, I'm going to go back. I'm going to see how uh, my archer friend works. The uh, uh, Latena. Actually, you know what? Let's try Latena now, though. What if instead we tried Latena now? Nope. I meant to hit switch it out, but I always do that. Let's go over here. One. One. And then the pull back. Okay. What are the Radon soldiers up to? Are they around? Are they chilling?
Oh shit. They can't get up here. All right, we covered at least a little bit. Oh, I was not expecting that. I'm going to get hit. Okay. Heal up if I can. Nope, I'm pressing heal. I'm really trying, I promise you. Heal. Okay, now we got it. Thank you, Radon soldiers. Nice distraction. I'll get the feet. We got it. All right, go team. Great enemy felled. Great enemy felled. Dragon scale blade. That was a cool fight. I like the narrow, it didn't feel oppressive even with the narrow uh, area. How many runes do we get? 58,000, sweet. Or, f yeah, I think about 58,000. Dragon Scale Blade, a weapon made by sharpening a gravel stone scale, thought to be the source of ancient dragon immortality, into an unclouded blade. Is unclouded a blacksmithing term? Alas, the dragonkin soldiers never attained immortality and perished as decrepit pale imitations of their skyborn kin. Yeah, we know that. We can use ice lightning with this. A, calls down bolt of ice lightning into the blade and bring it down upon a foe. And does it, it maybe it makes it ice, like an ice lightning blade? We can use this. We're going to try that. We're definitely going to try that. Lightning proof dried liver. Probably should have found that first, but say la vie. I forgot to wait. I literally just forgot. I just forgot I was waiting. My I got overly impatient and forgot why I was not doing anything. All right. Playing, playing, uh, what is that? Playing Elden Ring with ADHD. What's it like? Let's find out. So is there other stuff I'm missing? Almost certainly. I think the next thing I want to check out is this area over there. But this, I don't want to lose these runes. Do I rest up? I think I do rest up. I think I don't want to explore with this many runes. But rather than leveling up, actually, let's head back to town briefly. First check is, can I boost my primary oh, stuff? Can't boost that. Can't boost the rapier. I can boost the flail. Let's boost the flail. Good. I like having a striking weapon, and I like this, this particular flail. And I can boost the Nox flowing sword. So let's do that, I think. And so now, let me try the dragon sword. Yeah, I figure if we're going to try it, let's try it. Let's, Because this is something I'm actually quite interested in. So that would be... Dragon Scale Blade. Katana. Can it one hand a katana? I can one hand it. That's good. I never noticed that. That's the uh, the the coat of uh, of Godfrey, isn't it? The beast coat. Greetings. Are you here for sleep? All right, can we boost, boost Dolores? Good. And let's try the Night Maiden and Sorceress puppets.
Can I even use them? I actually didn't even check. I don't think I have the mana to use them. Ah, dang it. That was my bad. That was my bad. I got uh, overly eager. What is this? Oh, that's the... Um, that's where I fought the, the reindeer. Okay. Right, we're heading back to Lake of Rot Shoreside for some reason. Here's a question that actually will help, even if it's from future information. Is there any point in the game at which sacramental buds will be um, eternally gettable? Will be like the way that like a bell, like is there like a sacramental bell, uh, sacramental bud pickers bell or something? Like do they ever become infinitely acquirable for runes or just in general? Because if so, then I, I'm going to be a bit more free about this, about using them here. I just, I worry that, I worry I'm going to need it at some point. I'm going to go do a Sudoku. Oh, I forgot to do the Sunday crossword. Let's get started on that at the next rock break. No, I'm going to get rotted. I'm definitely going to get rotted. That, okay, I will cure myself. I will use a ballus. This feels like when I should be using a ballus. All right, how do we get to the next one? How do we get there as safely as possible? How do we get up there? Wait, could we have... No, there's got to be another way to get up there. How do we get up there, like, now that it's already lifted? We can't unlift it, can we? I don't believe so. There's got to be some, like, other way. There's got to be some alternative method to getting up there. Which we'll explore a little bit later, because I, I do want to push into here at least to see if I can find some next grace point, because that will be helpful. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, no. Yes. Good, good, good. This is very good. That's not good. Nothing about the rest of this place is good, but this is good. Especially if the boss is what I think it is. Specifically, the god of rot that we've heard so much about. Then I do fear we we'll might need boluses in the near future. But that future is not right now. Right now we can go finish exploring the, the lake. I just cracked enough runes. The Grand Cloister? Wasn't expecting that. Oh, I just cracked enough runes to get another of these things. Let's put another into... Vigor, we're kind of catching up. I think at one thing, once I hit 50 Vigor, I'll pump, pump some more into Dexterity. Maybe even some into Mind. But I just wanted to free myself from having to worry about exploring the Lake of Rot and dying. Treasure chest. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 22. We'll look at that in a bit, maybe? Uh, where else am I going? Just checking out the northern part here, and there's this whole other section. I don't know if we'll get to it, or if it'll be, like, if it's explorable or not. It might not be explorable. And more butterflies. Ooh, a thing. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, last, uh, here we go. Last push, last, uh, healing before we did. Somber Smithing Stone 7. Okay. I wonder if we'll be able to get to there. Kind of looks like it. I mean, this looks like it's part of an explorable map. I'm optimistic that we'll be able, we'll be able to get there. But I think that's all I wanted to explore for here for now. Oh, and there's a thing over there. I just saw that. We'll get that. We'll get that too. 
Oh, and let's try Ice Lightning Sword, too. And so now it has both Ice and Lightning. Very sweet. Ah, look at that. Look at that beautiful hit. That was great. That was fantastic. All right, what was the thing we... Let me do that once more. That felt really good. Ah! All right, let's... Uh, what, what was I even doing here? I was looking for... Yeah, that was what I wanted. Black key bolt. More of the black key crepus bolts? Are you one of the round hole table assassins? Maybe. But I think that's... Oh, gosh. I want to see if I can get back up there. This might involve another death. Right. There was the, the cliff and the ladder. Okay. Good, good, good. I don't know if we'll be able to survive long enough. I don't think we're going to survive long enough to see this. To see what's up here. This will be a sneak preview for the next run. Yeah, there is something up here. Someone up here. Is this another Baleful Shadow? What are you? An Onyx Lord or an Alabaster Lord? Yeah. Okay. That is cool. Let's try fighting you and seeing what you're guarding over here and just what you're about. I don't know that... I guess you're an Onyx Lord. You. It's hard to tell if the, there's the light. Are you an Acolyte of Blood like me? Do you have the, the, the red eyes? Hmm. You're gravity. You tend to be a gravity person. Okay. Oh shit, okay. So the, the timing on actually using this is kind of tricky. Yeah! Okay. Alabaster, so you're an Alabaster Lord, not an Onyx Lord. What's on your back? I thought it, no, I thought it was a curse mark, but I don't know what it is. I think it might just be a tattoo or something. Somber nine. Sounds good to me. Was all this just more room to play with to uh What is all this? It's more room to play with for the fight in case you don't wanna in case you wanna kite it, that sort of thing? Maybe. Alabaster Lord's Sword. Great sword forged from a blue-white meteoric ore. The blade conceals gravity-manipulating magic. A weapon unique to the Alabaster Lord's a race of ancients with skin of stone who were said to have risen to life when a meteor struck long ago. Again, this ongoing theme of, like, races and a semi... of, of like, semi-organic races, like the Crystallians and the Alabaster Lords sound kind of similar. Alabaster Lord's pull. Thrust the armament into the ground. Okay, so the gravity well. Greater area of effect than Gravitas, though. Okay. I think I am done with this place for the moment. 
but let me know if I'm mistaken, if like I missed some major thing that I should see, but I think I'm pretty good for the moment here. And I think that's where we're going to wrap up for today. Next time we will head into the Grand Cloister where I am expecting the God of Rot. I'm, that's, I mean, that's, if I'm honest, that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting to fight the God of Rot. Oh, God, there's even more. Okay. Um, can't get over this weapon. Yeah, I, I am a fan. I'm a fan. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.